Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 10 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on Windows Server Operating Systems. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 10 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll type in. Uh, this video is gonna be specifically focused on Windows Server operating systems. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put up a list of the compatible operating systems. That's gonna be 2012, 2012 R2, 2016, and 2019. Technically 2022, there have been some people that have been able to get it to work, but there's some keys to getting that to work as a whole. And generally speaking, it is not compatible or supported by HPE at this time. So relatively the highest that is truly compatible is 2019. And again, there's some workarounds. And if you know all the workarounds, great. Throw a comment in the uh, section down below that'll help out future users. Um, and so yeah, so let's hop in. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to install Windows Server 2019 locally onto your server. All that you are going to need is a USB drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an ISO file into the description section. What you're gonna wanna do is make this a bootable USB download the ISO file, and then we're gonna show you step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to install it onto your ProLiant. So let's get into it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to install Windows Server Operating System onto your HPE ProLiant Gen 10 server. We're gonna start by pressing F11 during the post to get into our UEFI boot menu. We're gonna select the USB that the media is installed onto, and in this video, it's gonna be front USB 2. The files will be loaded, and the system will reboot into the installation media. For this install, we're going to use Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation, the desktop experience. That's the one that we're going to use. So what we're going to do here is just uh, click next. The next page is going to show us the notes and license terms. You're just going to read them and accept them. Click next, click custom. Then we're going to select the drive that we want to install Windows onto, and we're going to click new and apply. This is going to repartition the drive, and then we're just going to click next again. Windows will now start the install process. It will take some time for this to complete, so sit back and relax for a second here. And once it has finished, the system will restart and boot into Windows Server. You're gonna set the password for the administrator account, and now you're able to log into Windows Server 2019. Well, hey, if you made it this far, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom-built servers, we do HPE, Dell, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. If you need 24-7 on-site support, we have options even for used servers, and we have a ton of Gen 10 in stock. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Please email us at sales at cloudinners.com. 